so much. Thank you. Well, oh no, no. No. No, it is I that must thank you. No, thank you. Well, it's been a very interesting week, a lot of interesting stuff in the newspaper. If you looked in the Wall Street Journal on Thursday, you might have noticed that our Department of Transportation placed an ad, which I believe we can show you here. Okay, actually in the Wall Street Journal, concrete floating bridge pontoon, pontoons to be sold by sealed bed. That's right, they're going to sell the floating bridge, which is great. <laughs> Now, if you read the ad, it says that the pontoons are floating, but the state doesn't guarantee that they're watertight. Well, now they tell us. It might have, been, might have been nice to have known that all the years we were driving over it. And I have a tip for whoever wants to buy it out there. It's not a good idea to open all the hatches, dump water in, and then go home for a three-day weekend. Uh, I don't know. Or... Or... Maybe that is a good idea. Maybe Magic Mountain's gonna buy it for a new thrill ride. I don't, you know, <laughs> ride the bouncing bridge, dive. <laughs> well, you know, I, also I really love the headline on that ad, bridge to be sold by sealed bid. You see that? <laughs> so, I get it, the bids will be sealed. We didn't seal the bridge, right? You know, that's great. You know, we didn't seal the bridge, but make sure you lick that envelope, which is really good. You know, but they need the money down at the DOT. Everybody needs money these days, and you might have noticed uh, another article in the Weekly. Well, they reported that the Seattle Times is trying to cut their expenses by 20%. Interesting that we didn't see that story in the Times, isn't it? Um, if some of you are wondering what the Seattle Times is, it's that little piece of paper wrapped around the eight tons of Kmart ad circulars <laughs> you're going to find on your doorstep tomorrow. The reason I say that is that the Times was so concerned that people might not know about them that they took out a front page ad a few weeks ago. You might have seen a front page ad for themselves in their own newspaper. You, you, you all saw this, right, a few weeks ago. What's going on around here? It's more than an ad, really. It's the whole Times editorial philosophy. <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh, wow. But anyway. The Times has to trim their expenses, and our inside sources have leaked us a list of how they're going to save that money. For example, they're going to fire Emmett Watson's personal groomer, which he's <laughs> just not pulling his weight. Uh, they're going to rerun old Garfield cartoons and see if anyone notices. They're going to ask their employees to bring their own two-ton rolls of newsprint from home. For the South King County edition, just publish the pictures, which is... <laughs> But not in Renton, not in Renton. Okay. They're gonna have their reporters steal quotes from the morning PI. They're gonna drop that channel 2815 from the TV log, which is long overdue. And finally, they're gonna have papers delivered by Jehovah's Witnesses, which is gonna cut down a lot of expenses. That ought to... That ought to make the Times a lean, mean fighting machine, you know, but we're all in for tough times. I think we've all got to work smarter. And you know, modern technology can help. And it even helps when you go out on a date. Don't believe me? Take a look. <laughs>